Europe is considering new COVID strategy, accepting the virus. UK has already declared that the Omicron wave is over and is going maskless, returning to work, doing away with vaccine passports as well. Spain is laying the groundwork to treat the next level infection surge not as an emergency, but an illness, which is here to stay. Will this be the way how we all around the world start living with coronavirus in the coming days? Here's a look. Mandatory face covering, COVID passes, and work from home guidance. All of this is set to become a thing of the past in a handful of countries in Europe. Infections are falling in some parts of the world, but the WHO has not said the pandemic has moved to the epidemic stage. And that too, if it happens, is not the best case scenario. Endemic in itself does not mean good. Endemic just means it's here forever. What we need to do is get to low levels of disease incidence with maximum vaccination of our populations so nobody has to die. That's the end of the emergency in my view. That's the end of the pandemic. The sword continues to hang over our heads and nothing can be left to chance when it comes to viruses, especially this virus that has mutated hundreds of times in the last two years. The WHO has strictly warned against treating the Omicron variant, the fifth variant of concern, as our path to endemicity. The problem is we are not at the driving seat. It is the virus which is calling the shots. And if you see the Omicron, it has emerged from the original SARS-CoV-2, not from the Delta, Alpha, Beta or Gamma. So we never know when will be the next uh, variant emerge. It may be six months or it may be next week. While experts sound a note of caution, the United Kingdom, one of the COVID epicenters, wants to go about their lives, living the new normal, it hopes to lift the curbs. The good news is the number of people in, in ICU uh, has been coming down, certainly in, in London, which was the epicentre. Uh, the level of staff absence in education has remained pretty flat. It was 8% before Christmas. It's at about 8.5% at the moment. So I'm confident that uh, when we review this uh, on the 26th of January, as, as we said we would do, uh, then we'll be a, in, in a much better place to lift some of these restrictions. But it's worth remembering that because we stuck to plan B, this economy is the most open economy in Europe. Spain, with one of Europe's highest vaccination rates, has its government laying the groundwork to treat the next infection surge, not as an emergency, but an illness that is here to stay. We're fortunate that Omicron, although it is highly transmissible, nonetheless is not as pathogenic. But the sheer volume of people who are getting infected overrides that rather less level of pathogenicity. In India, where vaccination has picked up pace and region-specific lockdowns continue, doctors say that the virus cannot be taken for granted and the protocols should not change. In the past two, countries lifted the curbs in the hope that pandemic is ending, but each time the virus has made a comeback. Is it too early to predict a return to the normal life? So what is, in your opinion, the reason behind countries like Europe, Spain is doing it, London is doing it, doing away with isolation, um, not making face coverings mandatory? What, what do you think of this move? I am actually not. So if you look at who has done well in this pandemic and who has not mm. done well in this pandemic, I would not look at Europe or UK as the best examples of who has done well. Mm. Look at Japan. Uh, Japan has been through Delta waves. Now it is going to go through Omicron. You know, people are using masks regularly and properly. And a lot of Southeast Asia and the same things has kept it low. I personally mm. think use of face coverings is a good idea. With Sneha Murdani, Bureau Report, India Today.